Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Azure Cosmos TV for NoSQL API. So let's start. So I'm on my Azure portal. Here we will create a Azure Cosmos TV account for NoSQL API. So I'll choose the service called Azure Cosmos TV here. Now we will hit on create. So in this page, basically you can see there are multiple APIs like Azure Cosmos TV for NoSQL, Azure Cosmos TV for MongoDB and many more. So as per your requirement, you have to choose one of the APIs to create a Azure Cosmos TV account. Uh, one account can be associated with only one API. You cannot create, you cannot associate multiple APIs with single account. So I'll choose in my case, I'll choose Azure Cosmos TV for NoSQL. Now I will choose my existing resource group. In account name, it's, this should be a globally unique name. So I'll put something which is unique. Now location, I'll choose my nearby location. So which is uh, central India. Now in capacity mode. So based on capacity mode, basically you will be charged for it. So there are two options we have provision throughput and serverless. So in provision throughput, basically you are going to reserve some amount of capacities and in serverless, basically if you have a kind of a small or medium kind of workload, in that case you can use serverless. So based on the, your uses, uh, you will be charged for that. Next we have here apply free tier discount. So with Azure Cosmos TV free tier, you will get the first thousand request unit per second and 25 GB of storage for free in an account. So after that, if you use consume this particular capacity, then it will start charging you. So I'm going to use apply free tier discount. So this basically on a single account, it can apply only once. <clears throat> so I'm going to uncheck this option, limit the total amount of throughput that can be provisioned on the on this account basically. So I'm going to uncheck these options. Next global distribution. So here we have three options, geo redundancy, multi-region rights and availability zones. So you have, uh, you remember I have choosing my region is central India. So if you see in geo redundancy, so it will basically enable global distribution on your account by pairing central India and south India. So in two regions, it will uh, replicate my data in multi-regions. So it's it, in multi-region rights basically allow you to take advantage of provision throughput for your database and content across the globe. And similarly, we have for availability zones here. So I'm not going to use this option, uh, global distribution. If you need, if you need it, uh, you you can choose as per your requirement out of these three options. Next, we have networking. So again, all networks, public endpoint and private endpoint. So private endpoint, if you have local VNet, which you want to connect from this particular uh, Cosmos TV account, in that case, you can use private endpoint. So I'm going to choose all network. Backup policy. So by default, uh, Azure Cosmos DB periodically backup your data in every month, like uh, 240 minutes, every four, four hours intervals, and for backup retention is eight hours. So if you want, if you will, you won't be charged if you are using periodic, if you are using continuous backup, this is helpful when you want a point in time restore. In that time, you can use this continuous one. So I'm going to leave this one also default. Next, we have encryption. So, so Azure Cosmos TV basically encrypt your data accordingly based on service managed key or customer managed key. So servers managed key is a default option. If you have customer managed key, you can use customer managed key also. So for that, basically you have to create a Azure Key Vault and you have to provide the URL, key URL for here. Next, we have tax and I'll hit on review and create. So basically it will validate all your details which you have mentioned here. So validation is succeed. Now you can see estimated account creation time in minutes, two minutes it will take to create this Azure Cosmos TV account. So I'll hit on create and let's wait for two minutes. So now deployment is completed. We'll go to resources. So this is the name basically which we have provided during the creation of Azure Cosmos TV account. So now this is a, there is an important part here, keys. 
सो बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ की रीड राइट कीज एंड रीड ओनली कीज सो देर आर टू कीज प्राइमरी की एंड सेकेंडरी की सो दीज कीज यू शुड नॉट शेयर इफ यू आर कॉम्प्रोमाइज दीज कीज देन द यूजर्स कैन हैव फुल एक्सेस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर अजर कॉस्मोस डी वी अकाउंट सो एंड दिस प्राइमरी की एंड यू आर एल इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ primary connection string and uh, primary key url and uh, secondary key is a combination of secondary connection string so these basically things uh, you will give to use in your application to fetch the data or connect to this uh, particular azure cosmos db account and uh, if generally you share the primary key and you reserve the secondary key in case if you feel like a uh, primary key is compromise compromise in that case you can provide the secondary key and regenerate the or primary key from here so now the important part here data explorer so here basically we will create a database containers and inside containers we create a items so these all or the administration part which you can manage uh, as part of this azure cosmos db account so in data explorer basically you can create here container and databases and there is also option you can open in a full screen but for that if you are using this option in that case you have you cannot use your personal account you should use your uh, office or work account here basically so i don't have that account so i'm going to use this explorer only so first thing i will create a container so now you can see it's first is first we have to provide a database id so i'll provide the database name here uh, for example app db and you can see uh, here option we have shared throughput across containers so whatever the containers you are going to create under this particular database this throughput will be shared across all the containers so you ideally you should not use uh, this option you have to uncheck as soon as you uncheck this option you can see the throughput part is got shifted at the container level so this basically you have to choose when you are working in a real environment so now i'll provide the container id i'll provide customer now partition key is very important part so in partition key i'll provide a uh, customer id is my partition key now here is we have container throughput auto scale so you can see we have choosing the free tier account so free tier we got 100 oh sorry 1000 request units per second so i'm going to use manual so it will only charge like request 400 unit per seconds request units so for this is for a simple operations which we are going to perform as part of this Uh, demo so we don't need auto scale options so i'm going to use benvol now i'll hit on okay so now here you can see it's created database called app db And under this database, it's created a container called customer. So, if you remember, uh, when we uh, discussed Azure Cosmos TV, we have discussed about the uh, architecture, like how basically uh, we create a items, we create an import or create a queries items. So, if you have not watched, you can go ahead and watch my over complete overview of Azure Cosmos TV video. I'll put the link in description also. So now under or uh, this is the upper uh, customer is our container and app db is our database so now under container we need we need to create a items so we have chosen azure cosmos db for no sql api so here we create a uh, document in form in form of json documents so i have some sample codes which i am going to write here so first we have i'll hit on new item So you can see uh, we have provided the partition key as a customer id okay just give me a minute okay so it's came up 
so i'll copy the code here so here what we are doing we are going to customer id which is a1 and customer name so whatever the uh, items or documents we will create here it will be based on partition key which is customer id so i'll save it so now you can see the id we have specified only customer id and customer name but when we save this particular document it create multi another uh, system properties so this id this is the customer id which is uh, uh, which basically uh, uniquely identified by the customer id so every customer id uh, will will have unique ID, id system id basically so you can see this particular id start with a05 now you can see this id a05 so now what i will do i'll create another item and i'll copy another code so now here customer id is a2 it when we save it it will create a another unique id for this particular uh, customer id a2 so if i save it so now you can see for a2 we have unique identity e473 and it is start from e473 so so every items is create a unique id so here we have uh, orders which is the this is the basically array of orders which i have specified as part of this customer id now we will uh, copy one more item one more document basically so i'll create new item and i'll save it so now we have three customer ids a1 a2 and a3 and each customer id has unique id system id basically so and as part of uh, all these three customer id it has all the different system properties for each items which we have created as part of this customer container so now what we will do we will uh, run the simple sql query which basically uh, fetch the all the documents so basically what i will do i'll uh, run the simple sql query for for this particular customer container in that case it's, it should fetch all three documents which is part of this customer container so i'll go to open query okay just give me a minute okay so it start c is basically a uh, for if you see customer can start from c so if i run this execute the selection okay just give me a minute i'll put customer so now you can see result one two three because we have three items here a1 a2 and a3 okay let me maximize this window so now you can see we have customer id a1 customer id uh, a2 and customer id a3 so that's how basically uh, we create uh, items in azure cosmos tv so there are many more things so i wish i will i'm going to cover in my next video so thank you so much see you next video